if tobacco harm reduction works, it would be one of the biggest public health impacts that have ever happened. And I wanted to be part of that. Big tobacco of 50 years ago is very different than what we are today. What we do here is transparent science. We want to be an active part of the scientific community. We really are focusing on the consumer from start to finish. It's surprising sometimes to see that scientific people or medical doctors, they are not even aware that the data are existing on smoke-free products. Typically, people are surprised when they see what type of science we do here in Philip Morris. In clinical trial, you, you can you know, possibly look at a relatively small number of people. And you collect the data specifically for the study. But with real-world data, we have the option to look at millions of people. And you know, millions of people, well, they got to tell you something. That's why we are trying to generate the science of a high quality to be able to communicate what those differences are between conventional cigarettes and the products that we are developing. Our team works to take all that science that we've rigorously assessed and analyzed and then bring it into a form that's more accessible. People don't need to trust us. They can look at the data, evaluate for themselves and see what conclusions they would draw. There is nothing that we're doing that we keep for ourselves. Everything is shared. And I think that leads to trust over time. It's not about creating another addictive product. It is about, you know, getting people away from smoking combustible cigarettes today. The end goal for us is to no longer sell cigarettes and make sure that our consumers have better alternatives. I would love regulators to act and to help us to make the cigarette obsolete. I'm young enough that I think I will be here to see the last cigarette roll off the line at Philip Morris. This ability to influence so many people in one go, this is a once in a lifetime you know, opportunity and frankly you don't get it you know, that often in your life.